Look at a big strong knight like you wasting time chasing down thieves. What's the matter, Buckethead? Too a scared to go off fighting real monsters? You're just content pushing folks smaller than you around, ain't ya? Typical Hume, keeping the working goblin down. I ain't a bad guy, just reappropriating a little wealth here and there, yeah? Maybe a couple people get hurt, but it's the same in your business, ain't it? You know, I'm starting to think you're getting some kind of kick out of choking me out like this. If you wanted to toss in the hay, all you had to do was ask. <laughs> what are you waiting for? I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> that one never gets old. You were right about that spell, Clipper. Works like a charm. Wish you wouldn't have waited until I was damn near unconscious, though. That bitch would have crushed my spine in an instant if she'd gotten the chance, you damn flea. You were fine. She had you dead to rights for like a full minute. If she wanted to smash your spine, she would have. We probably should get going, though, Snitch. I don't think she's gonna lay around for us to mock her all day. <laughs> What's the matter, Buckethead? Better pick up the pace or you're never gonna be able to dish out justice to this horrid pair of hooligans. <laughs> Quit your yapping and run, you cave-dwelling ignoramus! Ignoramus? I'll show you, Ignoramus, you... What the... Uh, hey! Uh, Damn it. Uh, uh oh. Uh, uh, lady? Did that poster say dead or alive? Because I think I might have killed him. Snitch, no! Oh, no, he's breathing. We're good. Oh, thank the gods. Who's the fucking bug? Bug? Look who's talking, you little... Uh, 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 uh. You're right, you're right. Come here, you. I don't know why you didn't just let me chase him down, lady. You know I'm a lot faster than you. I know when we started this whole party thing, I was a shaky little leaf. But I'm all grown up now. Look at me. I'm tough. You can trust me with this kind of stuff now. And besides, you were the one who needed help back there. It took everything I had not to jump down and... Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Next time. Next time. It's always next time. What are you planning on doing with us anyway, huh? We've never been to the big house before. You, you, you know what they do to fairies in jail, right? There we go, you they little... tie our wings up <sighs> and put us in little shackles. And and... and, and, and maybe you should have thought about that before starting this whole life of crime thing. We're bringing you in, criminal. Dead or alive. D dead? No, 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 no. Uh, 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 oh, 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 okay, uh... What is he, <laughs> stupid or something? Hey, I am not. Mostly, you usually. Oh, <laughs> I love you too. Yeah, not in front of me, good lord. <clears throat> now come on, partner. This guy's getting heavy. It's a long way back to Honey Shave. How come you losers had to go on the lamb so far away? Ah, uh, yeah, that's kind of the point there, Bozo. To get away from where you committed the crimes, so they don't catch you. Yeah, fat lot of good that did you. Lady, you sure I can't hold the little guy? I don't mind carrying both of them. Aw, come on. I promise he'll get there in one piece. Yeesh. I'm glad one of you has some sense. Oh, yeah. Just keep on running your mouth, Runt. Keep on talking. 
You are gonna be in for a world of hurt. Oh, yeah. Lady, just for once, let me be intimidating, please. Uh, okay, well, yeah, I'm not being very intimidating right now. But, 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 but I can be intimidating. People are terrified of spiders. That's like natural. It's like with snakes. You are really not doing yourself any favors right now, pal. You stay out of it. And so then, the guy kind of makes a face like this, and falls over, just dead, lickety split. No shit, just like that, huh? Just like that. Did you get paid? Um, no. Well, yeah, okay, they wanted him alive, but how was I supposed to know that was going to kill him? I think generally you want to avoid the temples when you're throwing rocks at people. It gets messy. Yes, well, I've taken that into account in all rock-throwing situations since. Hey, speaking of knocking people unconscious, your buddy going to be okay? Eh, uh, he'll be alright. Probably just needs to sleep off whatever he was drinking this morning. Blech. So, level with me. Why you guys do this kind of stuff? You seem like an alright fella. You could probably become adventurers like me and Lady. Yeah, boring. We wanted excitement, we got it. End of story. Well, I mean, alright then, but now you're gonna have to get your kicks in, uh, you know, jail. That two-bit town like Honeyshade? We'll bust out in no time. And we will catch you again. Maybe so. Maybe so. Well, my back's getting a little tired, lady. And I think we're going to be running out of daylight soon. You want to make camp for the night? We'll make some dinner. You can clock off, get some sleep. I'll stay up with the hoodlums, don't worry. Hey, I could eat. Ooh, yeah, so could I. Mmm. We have any of that cheese left, lady? Man, that stuff was good. Hey, I'll eat meat. You got any of that? Yeah, I think we got some jerky left. We'll, we'll get you some. Don't worry. Uh, oh! Uh, oh! Shit, sorry. Spider, the Lost Prince, you got a thousand names, pal, and you are worth a boatload. Keep it down or I swear. How come your little buddy here didn't say anything about it? Hey, you were already about to crush me like an ant. I wasn't about to bring up anything that might be touchy. Oh, gods, this is bad. This is so bad. If people in the underground are looking for me, that means Mother Sam. The scouts, or oh, worse, ton on salty. Oh. So, uh, you gonna tell us why we shouldn't just take you now and collect the absolutely batshit reward? Because you are still tied up, and your friend is just about as close to my natural prey as he can get. Neither of you are going to do anything. You just need to think for a second. All right, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, he's got a, yep. he's got a good point. Uh, I, I, no arguments. Well, you better think quick then, pal, because that reward is gonna bring all kinds of loonies in after you. You must have really shit in someone's breakfast to get a bounty that high. I didn't do anything, and that's part of the problem. If the wanted posters are calling me a prince, it's gotta be somebody from home. And if it's somebody from home... So... What's the big deal? Somebody gets a big cash prize? You get to go home and marry some fucking spidery broad? Live in a castle? Become a king? Who fucking who? Only you. Guys, I don't want to interrupt, but, uh... Uh-oh. That ain't good. Huh? Uh... Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not the knife. We, we were joking about taking him in. I... I... Uh, oh. Oh, 
Well, I ain't about to look a gift horse in the mouth. Thank you kindly. Yeah, good luck with the breakup and all that. Shut your trap, you gnat. Let's hook it. What? Are you here to guilt trip me now? Look, I just found out I'm being hunted by the dregs of society for an obscene amount of gold. You'll have to forgive me for not being particularly concerned with your feelings at the moment. Of course I love you! Of, of course I do! Why would you even ask that? That's hardly the point here. None of this was ever about deceiving you or tricking you into thinking I'm something I'm not. I, I, if, if anything, it's the opposite. I want to not be something that I am. I just want to live a normal life like this, running around with you, not worrying about anything. When I ran away from home, I didn't expect to survive, let alone find anyone to care for that cared about me. Never in my wildest dreams would I have expected to meet someone like you. I lied to you because I was lying to myself. I wanted to believe that if I forgot everything about who I was, where I came from, it would just disappear. Nobody that's still at home would want me around. Why would they come looking? This is probably just another fucking game for them. To make sure I'm miserable. Their little prince being happy is just too much to bear for those sadistic... You want to know everything? Yeah, I... I guess I owe you that, at least. Lady, I am the prince of my people, of Arachnia, the only prince. Someone like me is only born once per royal family. Don't ask me why, it's just how we work, I guess. My duty... And only purpose in life was to grow up healthy so I could be sold off to the highest bidder or whoever my mother decides is worthy of succeeding her. Normally I wouldn't have had any say in the matter and we never would have met. I'd already be dead. Luckily for me though, I had Kalina. I was a pariah to the rest of my sisters, mostly ignored, occasionally despised. Kalina, though, she cared for me. Basically raised me in lieu of my mother. Taught me what she could of the ways of the world. And... And then... One day... Kalina was told, in no uncertain terms, that if she continued to take care of me, to bond with me, to be my friend, to be my sister, she would be executed. To treat me like a real person was seen as this vile, irredeemable act, especially for a princess like her. They saw me as less than livestock. I was just a... a fucking thing. No better than a wedding ring. It was... it was at that point... that Kalina decided that neither of us could stay at the castle anymore. We would still meet in private, although I'm, I'm almost certain that Mother still knew. She told
taught me how to survive out here. Gave me the best route to climb over the edge of the crater. And told me to look for a cave. She couldn't follow me. The mountains way too dangerous to climb for someone as big and heavy as her. I had to go it alone. The hopes that one day Kalina would come find me. I was seven years old when I had to jump out that window. The guards and Tana, my oldest sister, basically my mother's stooge, all made a real big show of it. But I know they could have caught me if they really wanted to. They had every opportunity. I was just a stupid, weak, scrawny little kid. It was Kalina that they really wanted. They wanted to make her pay. They wanted to hurt her. I'm 24 years old now, lady. My sister never came. and it's my fault. <laughs> because I wasn't strong enough to face my fate. The only person in the world that ever gave me a chance died at the end of a fucking spear. Or worse. And now, history repeats itself. Lady, no, no, L listen to me. We can't just, you can't just swing your sword and make my problems go away. My family, my, my people, they're not like the things we've gone up against here in Safina. They will kill you, lady. They'll do worse than kill you. I, 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 I don't, I, I, I can't let that happen. Not with you. You just don't get it, lady. You're strong. But you're Safina strong. You're human strong. Bandits? Couple of monsters here and there? No problem. But that's here, lady. Human territory. The safest place in the world. The rest of Orion is different. Arachnia is different. It's deadly. The average female Arachne stands at just under twice your height, lady. We fought exactly one thing even close to that big and that minotaur nearly killed both of us my mother's soldiers are much smarter much more skilled and much better equipped than some shabby minotaur dwelling in a dusty old wizard's maze we're hopelessly outmatched by even one of them and the scouts never go out alone. Do I have any other choice? If I don't leave, if people start recognizing me, who knows how long we have until word gets back to whoever posted my bounty in the underground. We have no idea the kind of people that could come after us. And even if we could beat them, when the Arachne scouts start showing up, when my sisters show up, we're done. And they won't let you live. 
Even if you give me up peacefully. Sure. We could avoid them for a while. Live looking over our shoulders. Listen for whispers in the woods every night. Sleep in shifts. Eventually, we'll slip up. And in an instant, it's over. No matter how this ends, you don't survive this. And I would rather die than see you even hurt. Now, don't try to stop me. This was always my fate, lady. I just tried to pretend that it wasn't. I'm not making it your fate, too. I love you so much. Thank you for all the wonderful things you showed me during our time together. For all the happy moments you gave me that I never thought I'd have. Even if I'm caught and taken home, you made all of this worth it. Go live your life, lady. Forget about me. I can only pray you never have to carry a secret like this with you. <laughs>